Hello YouTube. So early this morning, Muscle Nerd tweeted out a link to a new version of Red Snow, Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 1, and the point of this is to jailbreak iOS 5 on these devices. So that's the iPod Touch 3G, iPod Touch 4G, iPad 1, iPhone 3GS, and both versions of iPhone of the iPhone 4. Once again, we do not see an iPad 2 jailbreak, which is regrettable, but there, but according to past tweets, there should be one coming in the uh, coming in the coming weeks. So, one thing, a couple things to note is that if you want to unlock, you need to stay away from this jailbreak. It does not support unlock and will update your baseband. And this jailbreak is tethered, so after you jailbreak it, you're going to have to run Red Snow again to untether your device and let you use the jailbreak. So you're going to need iOS 5, currently only legally available if you have if you're a developer with Apple, um, and the newest version of Red Snow, which you can download with a link from this post. I'll leave a uh, link to this post down in the description. So first you're going to want to install iOS 5 on your device by either shift clicking on Windows or option clicking on Mac, the restore button on iTunes, and I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my iPhone right now. And then you're going to want to open Red Snow. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you're here, browse to find your uh, version, your iOS 5 for your device. Here, mine is in this uh, disk image. Then hit open, and it'll take, you know, 10 to 15 seconds to process your firmware. Then hit next, and it will go through this whole process of loading everything into, the, into Red Snow and patching the kernel. Now you're going to select Install Cydia. It should be already selected. If not, just check the box. Then it's going to say uh, only go next when your device is both off and plugged in. So turn off your device. Then hit Next. And it'll give you the directions for putting it into DFU mode. So hold both buttons for 10 seconds. Then release the power button, the top button and continue to hold the home button for 15 seconds. It should jump to the next screen after about 7 or 8 seconds. And then it'll say jailbroke, jailbreaking and give you a little loading bar. And this, and at this point you don't have to do anything else, just wait for your device to be jailbroken. You'll get a few progress bars, it'll like wait for the reboot and everything on uh, Red Snow. And then after a certain point, uh, it'll tell you that it's done on here and you should see a bunch of white text scrolling down your iPhone so that's the bulk of what you're gonna need to do all that's left now is to go in and untether it like I said this is a tethered jailbreak which means that you won't be able to use Cydia until you do an additional step so I'm just gonna wait for uh, my device to be jailbroken and white text will scroll down the screen for a while and that's totally normal. Once again, this process can take anywhere from two minutes to ten minutes while it uh, moves around everything on your device and jailbreaks it properly and whatnot. So we're just going to wait for that to finish. Uh, at a certain point, you should see a pineapple pop up and a loading bar that says moving applications. Uh, this screen could stay for a while or it could go away pretty quickly once again all different times are to be expected if it goes on for more than 10 minutes I'd say you probably did something wrong and you wanna follow the steps again to fix it so yeah we're just gonna sit here and wait for that to finish and after it moves on from the moving application stage for me it took you know about two minutes uh, it should stay in say installing bundles and then your iPhone will go back and start to reboot uh, now, it will take a little while to reboot, and once it does, you'll realize that you don't have any, or you'll have Cydia, along with all the other applications you should have, but if you try to boot up Cydia, it'll flash a white screen and Cydia will quit. So that's because it's going to be tethered, and we have not run uh, the next step to untether it. So, uh, since we're going to have to do this anyway, I'm just going to close out of Red Snow and open it back up. This is the untethering step. Browse, select your firmware again. It'll process the firmware. And my iPhone just rebooted. So 
you can open it up and just check to make sure it's not gonna city is not gonna work so yeah city is just a blank icon uh, that when you try to boot it up it just quits so once again uh, start up red snow again browse for your firmware hit next let it process and patch the kernel and everything and then you're gonna get to this screen again now you're gonna uncheck install Cydia and hit just boot tethered right now then hit next turn off your device and then follow directions to put it in DFU mode first holding the power button then holding both for 10 seconds or a few seconds after your screen goes black then release the power button or the top button and hold just the home button for another 15 seconds but it should jump to the next screen after 7 or 8 so it'll give you this progress bar again except it'll uh, stop after a couple of those it won't go through the whole process of jailbreaking it again and you should see a uh, pineapple up here on your boot up screen and then it'll say done so it didn't take nearly as long because we're just booting tethered and then uh, you'll just have to wait for your iPhone to reboot it shouldn't take any longer than a normal reboot uh, if you have a lot of applications and songs and stuff obviously it's gonna take longer but for the most part it should be relatively quick if you just restored with iOS 5 um, I already installed a few applications so you know it'll take a couple minutes but for a completely clean restore, I wouldn't expect it to take longer than, you know, a minute. So yeah, that's how you jailbreak it. I'm just going to wait here and make sure everything works on my iPhone 4. Uh, just so I can confirm that the jailbreak is fully working. So if you want more, uh, if you want to follow along with the text directions, check out the link down in the description. Those should have, uh, that way you can... Uh, easily go back and look if you skipped a step or something and so my iPhone has finished rebooting and just gotta wait for it to respond and city icon And it all works. So it came up with the Who Are You screen. Uh, so yeah, that's that's all you have to do. Everything works fine. Should go off fairly easily. If you have any questions, leave a comment down in the comment section. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.